we should be good. My page isn't updating. It's updated the old fashioned way then. All right, so apparently we're live and I'm a little bit late. Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekly salt ration. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are going to do the best we can to not get too salty. I don't really want to get salty today. Uh, hello Lord Stalin, American Elite 51. Oh God, it skipped. Uh, MV Retro in the house, Infection, Aaron, Antonio, David, Gwillem, or Gillum, Thomas, uh, the Sean, Torpedoes, Mace, Fan, uh, David, Arlesia, Rick, Josh, what is up guys, Eagle, I see you, Samuel, Fan, Denzel, what's up guys, thank you guys for dropping by, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, get started, uh, I think I just completed a couple new sections of my, uh, bureau, so we'll start in the bureau here, uh, we are on the number five, or, whoa. Yeah, we're on number six and almost done. Segment, or yeah, whatever. We're almost done with uh, segment six here. So we're about halfway done with the campaign. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. All right, so without further ado, let's get this party started. Any uh, any suggestions? What's up, G-Daddy, uh, Sornable, Castro, Real, Dogfighter, Benno. Craig, Gary, Profess, uh, I think I got everybody, Gibby, Flavius, Addison, Isaac, White Knight, what's up guys, Oki Ducks, Colin Barker, anybody got suggestions, oh god, is Kniebel in the house? Yes, he is. Captain Knievel in the house. What's up, buddy? Lone Wolf. We got a Wichita is the first thing I saw, but there was a Yubari ahead of that. I don't actually have the Yubari. I have a Yudachi. <laughs> I did see the Wichita, so let's go ahead and throw the Wichita in there. Uh, I actually removed all of my uh, stuff off the Wichita already, so I'm going to have to put everything back on it because I'm anticipating it being taken away in the next few days. So, uh, yeah, that'll be a thing. It'll be gone for a little bit. So let's go ahead and put our upgrades back on her. We've got aiming system mod one. We've got steering gear or propulsion. Could be either or. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to go with the steering gear. And then uh, we've got concealment system, obviously. And then we have secondary gunfire system or we want main battery reload time. So uh, we're gonna go with the main battery reload time just because let's get this reload down as far as we can if we're gonna have this much fun. Uh, right now it's reloading at 8.8. .8. Let's see if we can't get that a little bit lower by changing some perks around. So we've got uh, punch through, we've got fixated. Instead of fully packed, let's go with this. And then what do we got here? Instead of the range, Let's go with do do do. I can't remember who's the one with the uh, reload. I know Charles Madden. Do do do. Alright, we'll go with Charles Madden. It's not a big change, but uh, we'll go ahead and use it anyway. So what's that get us down to? Stats wise, 8.2 second on the reload time. Not a huge increase, but we lose a kilometer of range, so that's the thing. That might come back and bite us in the booty. But let's get this party started. We're at 8 kilometers, or 8 seconds on the reload, so we'll see what we get into. It's actually cold in Australia. 
Well, that's funny because yesterday, and I think it was yesterday in Siberia, they had the uh, highest recorded temperature ever. Uh, so it's actually warm for them. But I'm sure it was still really cold. All right, so I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm going to try to stay as calm as possible during this stream. So uh, it's not going to be your normal weekly salt ration. I'm going to try to be a little bit less angry just due to the fact that I don't feel that great. And I don't want to uh, make it worse. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and switch to HE right off the bat. The AP in this is good, but I don't, I don't think it's a good at uh, any sort of distance. You want to kind of use that in, in uh, inside 10 kilometers if you can. It can work really well, but uh, it's HE is kind of where it makes its bread and butter. I don't think that made a whole lot of sense, but I was actually on the verge of canceling weekly salt ration, but with all of the canceled salt rations lately, I just felt like I had to. Um, I just did. I don't feel very good today for some reason. Uh, I had a pretty uh, pretty rough night last night as far as uh, not getting any sleep, even though I'm on vacation. I just couldn't sleep last night. It was a rough night. I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed, apparently. All right, Prince Oigan. Okay, we are detected, so we got to be careful here. You can see 3,600 damage with our first salvo. With high explosive. We got a fire on the Amagi right off the bat. We got lucky there. Vladdy actually just hit us. Nine hits out of nine. Ship is on fire. Yep, we need to get this get this party rolling. Too many people shooting at us. This, this moss has really got himself into a pickle. And that should hopefully be the death of him. Don't know what he was thinking sitting up next to the island like that, but uh, he was wrong for, for sure. So now our destroyer should be able to go out there and uh, start punching holes in, in the bad guys. Zoigans just outside our range here. Ah, darn it. This is bad timing. That was horrific timing, but uh, yeah. Good news is we're okay. <laughs> That's the good news. All right, we've got Vladdy. We're gonna go ahead and start trying to hit him. We're a little too close for my comfort.
on now. The ship is on fire. That Colorado hit every single shot like that. At least he was firing high explosive. All right, let's get another fire on this guy. Come on. Never mind. He just got torped into oblivion. Fire on the Colorado. Uh, he's out of range. All right. We need to start heading heading back towards the uh, bases. The enemy's got too many capture points. The problem is that uh, Colorado out there has 16-inch guns. So did the Blatty. So I, I couldn't engage them directly because if I bow tank them, I literally just get obliterated because they overmatch my armor. So can't can't engage them directly means I need to be a lot more careful when I engage. Now our team is losing on points. We are losing in caps. They have more caps than we do. Hello, New Orleans. How you doing, bud? The Goodbye, New Orleans. Really? Almost in position, but they still have the Amagi out here who also has 16 inch guns, and he's just absolutely begging for it. Attention. There's not a whole lot I can do about him. gonna burn for a while because he just used his damage con a minute ago for the single fire. Hopefully one of those will set another fire. Yes! We got another fire. So that should hopefully be his death. Which means now we just gotta worry about the Amagi that's out here. Oh god. Oh, we got lucky. I dodged it just in time. Torpedoes to the start. That should be the end of the lightning. Bismarck is broadside to us. We're gonna try to start a fire first. Let's see if we can get one more fire on the Colorado. Ow, wait! Ow, wait! 16 inch guns just touched me. Not a fan. Definitely not a fan.
Got another fire? Next salvo, we're gonna switch to armor piercing. Okay, we didn't get another fire, unfortunately. We are keeping ourselves away from the Amagi, so we're good there. Damn it, he broke my fucking gun. Dick. back out in front of me there, Bismarck. You know you want to. Alright, I don't have much of a choice here. Amagi's pushing up on me. So we've got to play keep away from the Amagi. He just destroyed one of my fucking turrets. And now I'm shattering fucking rounds off the side of his ship, which is obnoxious. Yeah. This is why the uh, armor piercing not good at, not as good as the Baltimore. The ship is on fire. Problem solved. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Only so much we can do when our destroyers refuse to get involved in the fight. Like, they, they spent the entire match out in the middle of the fucking ocean chasing nothing. He went after, what, he got the Vladdy. That was that was pretty much it. But we did 138,000 damage in our first game in uh, Wichita. Once again, showcasing that the thing is an absolute beast. Especially that high explosive. Uh, probably should have just stayed on high explosive against Bismarck, shot into the superstructure. But uh, if this if this destroyer had decided to come into the actual fight and, and actually try to torp things... Instead of torping for max range, we'd have probably had a better better time. Uh, maybe even won this. But uh, the fact that they had multiple caps for the entire match, and then the fact that the rest of my team didn't do anything, doesn't help. Just doesn't help. So uh, we'll see how this ends real quick. They know where he's at. It shouldn't be that difficult for them to come after him. Uh, but, you know, is what it is. Again, I'm not going to try to get too salty today. Uh... We, we had a pretty good... What's up, Luke Nukem? Uh, salt's not too bad. Again, not trying to get too salty today. Oh my god, you guys are already... Already donating? Holy crap. Let me go back through and read. Uh, Solisto, thank you for the $1. Uh, Spartan is in a cruiser. Is this the real Spartan? Of course it's the real Spartan. Of course I'm the real Spartan. Oh my god, you guys are nuts, man. Uh, Jimmy James, thank you. It's my first live stream. Love the channel. And, uh... Preciacha? I, I'm not sure what that means, but, uh, appreciate the $20 donate. You're crazy, dude. Thank you. Thank you. And then, uh, Nick Arcady, I can't see your donation right off the bat. I just know it's a, uh, it's another $20 donation. Thank you so much. Uh, finally a weekly salt rations. It's been a while, yeah? Yeah, I was here last week. But, uh, yeah, definitely getting this stream started off on a better note as far as uh, damage goes. So, uh, yeah. Sup, Retro? First person, British Naval Power. You guys are absolutely crazy with the donations. I appreciate it. Really do. Uh, 138,000 damage, though, first game of the week. Or first game of the, the Assault Ration. It's all downhill from here, folks. Just say it. <laughs> Z23 got some damage there. Uh, like I said, he got a good chunk of the Vladdy, but that was pretty much it. Uh, he spent the rest of the time chasing ghosts, essentially. Uh, we did everything we could. Uh, yeah, so moving on. Let's go to uh, Alabama, I think. Alabama's a good one. First person, thank you for the 99. Is that a euro or is that a... Is that a great British pound? I'm, I'm not sure how that works. But yeah, thank you. Appreciate you. Thanks for dropping by. David, how's it going? William, soccer. Alistor, Jonah, Mario, or Mario. Uh, Dan Diablo in the house as well. 
we got a little bit of a bidding war going on. Holy crap, you guys are crazy. Appreciate you. Already have four donations this early in the ma or this early in the stream. You guys are crazy. All right, <laughs> let's let's try not to break Spartan in this match. We got uh, Yudachi, of course. Got to have that. A Fletcher. Couple. Uh, we got Atlanta, Wichita. Definitely got to try to get rid of the Wichita as quickly as possible. Jean Bart, Kanizanawa, Vanguard, Alabama. You'll notice that there hasn't been as many John Barts lately. I wonder if that has something to do with all of the Yadachis running around and then also all of the fire spammers running around. Remember, fire is the one weakness of the John Bart and the Richelieu because they are extremely susceptible to HE. Extremely susceptible. Now, I don't want to get too crazy early because I don't know how much support I'm going to have. But... Yeah, we've got a Jean Bart and a uh, Vanguard over here. No shot at him. But you can see, this is kind of like how this match always goes for me. No matter which side I spawn on, everybody decides to go the way I am. And of course, the Wichita's over here as well. Um not preferable dang it they don't stay lit up long enough for me to actually target to see if I can get a shot over the mountain we're gonna go ahead and switch to HE man the vanguard got a long ways out there that was actually a pretty solid hit. And we are definitely inside the range of that Wichita, which is not preferable. The ship is on fire. Good news is we have 16 inch guns. Bad news is I just started loading HE, so. Enemy we're gonna kite away because we have no help whatsoever and we're the only thing being shot at right now. Go ahead and switch back to uh, AP here. They've already lost their Yudachi. That's amazing. And the Jean Bart just took a nasty hit from our destroyer, which is also amazing. news is their Fletcher's right there and he can definitely outgun our Yudachi. Jean Bart's on fire so he's gonna burn for a minute due to the fact that he just took torpedoes he had to have most likely flooded. and high up trying to get a uh, penetration through his guns potentially knocking his guns out to help a little bit you can see our Nelson's under fire now there's Jean Bart gets away with it for now we're gonna go ahead and throw up our plane see if we can't spot the uh, Vanguard coming around that left side but not enough to take him down. All right. Jean Bart is engaging us, it looks like. Which is fine. Of course, he disappears the moment we actually start to engage him. Everybody else does as well. No 
another hit on him, but not enough to really take him down. John Bart should flood to death or burn to death. So that's good. He's down. So now I can start to turn in. Unfortunately, we're broadside to a King George right now. And he is, in fact, aiming at us. It's not preferable, but if we're lucky, he'll shoot armor piercing. And how does he disappear? Why is it that everybody disappears the moment I can actually shoot at them? Alright, he's shooting HE, so we're good. Hopefully he'll get touched by that. Looks pretty good. Yeah. We got a shatter and a ricochet off of him somehow. Stone the crows. We're gonna wait work our way out here to deal with this vanguard. Enemy cruiser sighted. Actually, Wichita's here. Get rid of him. Howie. The ship is on fire! How does the Wichita survive that? Three penetrations midship with a 45 caliber gun. Come on. Problem solved, sir. He's gonna beach himself. Hold these, Wichita. Goodbye. How is he not getting Citadel? Seriously? Oh, but the Nelson can Citadel him. That's, that makes sense. Either that or the Nelson just got the nastiest salvo of HE known to man. I guess it's possible. Torpedoes, dead ahead. God darn it, you fucker. The ship and of course fire. we're gonna take a torpedo. Breach. So we're, we're flooding and control. burning the fucking Useless King George is just sitting over there taking it. I'm gonna see if we can't actually see the little bastard firing his- Oh, he's behind the island. Can't actually do anything about it. Can somebody shoot the fucking King George? We got all of you destroyers and you're all focused on one person. You little fuckers. Go out and do your job! Dude, if he sets another fire, I'm dead. That was a good hit. Problem solved, sir. If he gets another fucking fire, I'm dead. And there's nothing I can fucking do about it. Alright, he fucked up his shot. And now I'm dead. Because the fucking vanguard. Enemy battleship sunk. Our team has taken the lead. Gets a fire with one shell. What a useless cock. Bunch of fucking HE spamming bastards. Hate them. Hate them. If our fucking destroyers would have went out and did their fucking job to begin with, then this wouldn't have been an issue. But they fucking all like ran in circles trying to find a fucking way to torp the vanguard, which was guarded by a fucking Fletcher. So they let the fucking King George just sit out there and fucking hit us. They're right on top of one another. It doesn't make any damn sense. Spread out, use your fucking bullshit for what it's for. It's a fucking destroyer that has the best concealment in the fucking game. Go do it. Use your heads, guys. I mean, I did all right. It's 50, 60,000 damage, but fuck off. I don't mind being the only one to die, but it's just annoying when everybody around you is just sitting around. Go out and do your fucking jobs, man. You're in a fucking destroyer. Torp something. Stop sitting around. They did good with the Jean Bart early. They left the fucking Fletcher on no health. Nobody went and got him. There was a fucking Baltimore right there. He was up against a ba uh, battleship that only had 15-inch guns, so he could he could bow tank him, go after the destroyer, kill the fucking destroyer, but he didn't do that. Didn't even shoot the destroyer, as far as I know. Then we've got the fucking battleship behind me, the Nelson. He ends up getting a kill on the, uh, the cruiser, but I don't know, man. 
Just seems like everybody waits for me to do everything. Just go out, do your fucking job. That's all I ask. Just do your job. If everybody's sitting around waiting for the fucking enemy to finish off your teammates, you're doing it wrong. Like, they can't shoot you all. <laughs> That's not how that works. A fucking battleship has a 20 second reload at best. So, go after him. Doesn't make any sense to sit around and do nothing. Especially in a fucking destroyer where you have all the maneuverability, all the fucking fire rate, all of the torpedoes, all the concealment. It doesn't make sense to sit around. Uh, uh, see what you guys are up to. I haven't checked for a minute. Oh god, you guys are ridiculous. Why are you guys donating so much? <laughs> You're gonna break me. Holy crap. Uh, let's see. Nick Arcady, thank you for the 10 bucks. Missed the last stream by a minute. I apologize. But hopefully, you know, it looks like you're here for this one, so uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, Stormcat Miranda, thank you for the $5. Hope you have a better stream, or hope you feel better. Thank you. Uh, I'm fine. It's just, like I said, it's just been an off day for me. So uh, it's one of those trying to go back through and read the donations here. Uh, Jimmy James, thank you for the $2. Uh, Pressy at you. I appreciate you. Ah, got you. Got you. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate it. Makes more sense now that I think about it. <laughs> now that you explained it, it makes perfect sense. All right, so uh, let's see what we want to get into. No, d don't. Don't make me. No. You guys. Uh, why? I mean, on one hand, they're like, play a German battleship, so I could technically jump into Scharnhorst. On the other hand, they're asking for the Bismarck, and I don't want to play the Bismarck at all. Fuck it. Fuck it, give the people what they want. That's what I say. Give them what they want. I'll never play the Bismarck again. A week later, playing the Bismarck. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. How you doing, Typer? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm just, like I said, it was a little bit of a bad night for me. Couldn't really sleep. Just kind of laid there in bed till like six o'clock this morning. And then I, uh, you know, just not feeling like myself right now. So I just try to keep it a kind of a mellow stream. I don't want to get too excited today. Uh, but you guys are freaking tr trying to kill me, I think. The donations are just ridiculous today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um... Let's see. Yadachi, Yadachi, Yadachi. Three Yudachis in this match, of course. Two of them on the enemy team. We've got a York, a Baltimore, Sinop, Gneisenau, Bismarck, Monarch, and Iowa. Of course, I'm in the, the Bismarck trying to get up close and personal. So what do they do? They put me against two Yudachis. Makes perfect sense. All right. So we're going to go ahead and switch to armor piercing. Um see what we can get into early I'm gonna push into the back side of the island here I don't like going to the front because that leaves you exposed to everybody that spawns in the center but if I go to the back side I can't really help capture a for quite a while but you guys know me I'm all about the whole making sure that you limit who engages you it's a huge deal especially in the Bismarck because you have to get close in order to be at your most effective um, you can be effective at range it's just sporadic at best but this thing is at its best when it's up close and personal the problem is trying to get up close and personal all right, we've got a Bismarck at 17 kilometers. That actually looks like a pretty good salvo. That was actually a decent salvo. All right, we are detected. We have two battleships here. An Eisenhower and a Sinop. Uh, so we're going to have to slow down here. We're going to turn on our hydro just to see if we can spot 
a destroyer that's probably out here. Torpedos voraus. Yep, saw that coming. Torpedos voraus. So, one of their Yudachis is over here. And of course, we completely miss a Gneisen now at 10 kilometers. The good news is these guys are engaging us from inside our range. Our secondaries can start making them burn. But as you can see, I'm firing my guns at battleships that are 10 kilometers away who are broadside on and I can't hit them. And this is with Henry Hyde maxed out as a dispersion build. Hey, we destroyed the torpedo tubes on the left side of the Gneisenau. That's going to change his plans a little bit. See if we can destroy the front guns on the sin up here. I'm trying to angle so that my secondaries can fire off both sides of the ship. But we know that there's a destroyer out here, so we're trying to also change up what we're doing. Oh, and that Sinop just got Kerr Blaster! almost got the Gneisen now down. We're angled pretty strongly against him, so he's going to struggle to do much of anything without shooting our superstructure. But as you can see, if he hits my superstructure, he can get some serious damage that way. And he's obviously flipping around to try to get his uh, other torpedo tubes involved. We knocked out one of his primary batteries. So we're going to... Oh god, this battleship's going to screw us. We're about to drive right through them. Torpedoes of Steuerbord. Oh god, that's even worse. Torpedoes of Steuerbord. Oh, we're so dead. We're so dead. All of the torpedoes. There's so freaking many of them. Damn it! Cruiser, go. Cruiser, for fuck's sake, go do your job, man. Hipper, what are you doing, bud? This is why I was trying to fucking move, but the jackass next to me, they all have to fucking sail right next to you so you can't fucking maneuver your ship. That fucking Yadachi just sitting out there fucking torping the fuck out of all of us. God dang it, man. I can't fucking move my ship. And this fucking jackass back here in the hipper is just like letting this shit happen. We detected how many fucking torpedoes? Come on, secondaries, do your job. The whole point of you is to fuck up little destroyers. And of course, King George hits him with one shell right as he's about to fucking die. <sighs> Good news is we're about to be able to heal again. I love the Baltimore is actually shooting at us instead of shooting at the fuckers over here. Like, he's right in front of them and he's shooting at us because we're the lower health target. Or he just knows us. That could be a potential too. But, uh, unfortunately for him, I know that he can bow tank my 15 inch guns, so I'm going to fire high explosive at him. And of course, because I'm a German fucking battleship, I can't hit him. He 
He's about to be inside range of my secondaries. Which, he's a fucking Baltimore, so that's not going to do a whole lot. Never know. If we could start getting some hits once in a while, it'd be nice. Hey, we got a hit, guys! We hit him with one shell! A whole shell! Down goes the Baltimore. Uh, I can't imagine why I don't like the ball or the Bismarck guys. It's such a good ship, isn't it? You just sail around and you shoot at things and you completely miss them every shot and you just wonder what's wrong with your life. Your secondaries fire the guns every half a second, but they don't actually do any damage whatsoever. couldn't slip the shot past the little mountain in front of us to try to hit him. So I guess we'll try to hit the Monarch. They have lost both of their Yudachis, so we don't have to worry about that. They still have a Monarch. A joke. People think that I'm just a uh, jerk against these freaking German battleships, but they're so garbage. Like, if you shoot at something, you should at least hit it with one shell. Once in a while. And then on top of that, if you do hit it, even with your armor piercing, you're not guaranteed any sort of damage out of it. Because it'll ricochet or it'll shatter the shells, even though they're coming in at such a low angle. Like, they should be able to penetrate, but they just don't. And honestly, this this monarch could potentially absolutely wreck us. Uh, but he's about to eat some torps. Yep. Yadachi, guys. Good news is there's just a cruiser left. And we've gotten 30,000 damage after surviving the entire match and sailing around the map to try to find an enemy to shoot at. We had... what? Two battleships, a cruiser, and a destroyer to shoot at, and we've managed to get 25 hits in the entire match. But we've got 30 with the secondaries. The good news is, shooting at a York going full speed away from us. We don't have enough range to actually hit him. But our dispersion is so bad that it's actually kind of hard to predict where our shells are going to land if you're trying to dodge them. And he dies because Belfast. <laughs> what a game. What a fantastic game. I love the ship so much. It's so good. But Spartan, you survived three torpedoes from a Yadachi. Yeah, that's the highlight of the game right there. <laughs> Lost 21,000 silver. Woo. All of the all of the skill. We got Dreadnought, though, guys. We got Dreadnought. That's, that's what's important, right? Wasn't it an entertaining match? <laughs> it's such an entertaining ship to play. Don't know why... Why I don't play it more often. Uh, any any suggestions? Let's see what we got. Give it to you. You can have it. If I could give you the ship, I would literally give away my Bismarck. You can have it. <laughs> Iowa next. All right. That's more of my style. I'll go with Iowa. There will be six Yudachis in this one. All of them will be on the enemy team. And they will spawn across from me and murder my face before I ever see them. <laughs> Let's do it. But seriously, like, you guys see what I mean about the thing. 
Like, I have the best build possible for the ship. I have everything that I'm supposed to do with the ship. It literally can't hit anything. And when it does hit things, it's underwhelming at best. The best thing it did in that match was it took out the torpedo tubes of the Gneisenauer. So we couldn't get torped by the Gneisenauer. The bad thing was, I try to turn away, I get stuck by my fucking teammate, so then I take three torpedoes. Luckily, we have five heals. Because it's the only battleship, well, that and the Turpets are the only battleships that I run full heals on. Gneisenauer too, obviously. But, uh, what do we got? Iowa, Yudachi, Yudachi, Z23, York, Helena. Alright. Turpets, Rishilu. Lots of torpedoes in this match. York, Z23, two Yudachis, Gneisenawa, and Turpets. That's a lot of torpedoes. Alright, we're on Greece. General quarters. We spawned on the far right side. So we're just gonna kinda hang out here for the uh, time being. I don't want to commit early and go the wrong way. I want to kind of see where the enemy is going to be. Uh, of course, our Yudachi on our team's not spawned in yet or is just not going to play. Oh, there he is. Uh, let me guess. Yep, both of them are PlayStation, so. Does PlayStation take longer to load in? Like, I see that a lot. I see a lot of PlayStation guys that just don't load in until 30 seconds into the match. Somebody will have to let me know for a PlayStation. And it's always PlayStation that, that has seems to have trouble uh, loading in. Alright, we've got a York. Snapshot. Looks good, looks very good. Wait for it. Pow! Oh, come on! How? Why is it when I'm in a heavy cruiser, every battleship that hits me, citadels me? Like, but these guys just get away with it, forever. That being said, this Turpitz is going to have a bad day. He's at 19 kilometers, and he's broadside on. His turtleback armor ain't going to help him. But, uh, oh my god, that dispersion. That dispersion is death. If that citadels him, he's a dead man. All right, we got five penetrations, but no, no Citadel. But he definitely got touched. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can. No, York's on the back side of the island, so we'll we'll focus that turpids. Who's firing? Is it the Helena, or is it the York firing their HE at us? Okay, so we've got a Z-23 on the right side against our Yudachi. That's not preferable. We've got a Gneisenawa. We've already lost one of our freaking battleships. Because, of course, we have... And it's a Bismarck. Because, of course, it is. Luckily, one of their Yudachis is down. Okay. I was thinking about turning, so we'll give him a second to make a mistake. Hopefully he gets spotted again. Of course, my luck, he's not even going to get detected. Fighter airborne. Okay, apparently he's not going to turn for me. The ship is on fire! And it is the Helena that's, that's shooting at us. Alright. Problem is, there's nowhere really for us to go to get out of the way of the, the fire spammers. We can't really push up because of all the torpedoes. So we don't really have much of a choice but to kind of sit back here and take it. Which is not preferable, but it is a thing. Uh, Z-23 is coming out. Nazar. Nazar. Z-23 
see if we can't help our destroyer out. Of course, we missed every single shot. Z-23 is still alive. Iowa appears to be going in reverse. We've lost half our fucking team because, of course, we have. got citadeled by a fucking Richelieu or we at least took heavy damage from the Richelieu. It's great. Problem is this Gnaise now has actually got a fantastic broadside on me right now. Island will protect us for a little bit until the destroyers come up and kill me. Let's see if we can get this Gnizanawa off our broadside. Because he's actually the bigger threat at the moment. Down goes our Sharnhorst. Because when all else fails, just throw your ship away. That's always the most helpful thing you can do, I've, I've come to imagine, over the years. When all else fails, you just sail your ship right out in front of the entire enemy team's battleships and die. Well done, Sharnhorst. York is coming out to try to torp us, so uh, we're going to wait for that. Or maybe he's not. Enemy cruiser sighted. I love how that guy literally just fired his guns while I'm looking at him. And he disappears because the land is between me and him. So clearly I have no shot. Alright, so York is now going to come around the corner. I have 20 seconds before I get loaded. He's clearly going to try to torp me. I need help. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. We're about to be loaded. And he doesn't get citadeled into absolute oblivion. Because that's how that works. That's how that works, guys. You literally just sail broadside on in front of a fucking battleship, point fucking blank, and an armored cruiser, and you just, you get away with it. Because clearly, clearly the battleship's 16-inch guns just don't do enough damage to you in a heavy cruiser while you're broadside. And once again, doesn't get fucking citadeled. Iowa secondaries are definitely more effective than the Bismarcks. I've said it before, I'll say it again. But uh, yeah, what a what a game, guys. What a what a team. What a fantastic team. Destroyers that go out and don't do anything. Battleships that throw the ship away. <laughs> 90,000 damage done. A loss. Fantastic. The destroyer who was next to me the entire time decides the moment that I asked for help to run away instead of throwing his torps to block the fucking York. So that was helpful for him. 
I mean, he was so helpful the entire game, sitting in the base, not actually being able to do any damage. But at least he was trying to do something. I don't want to get too salty. At least he was trying to do something. I feel like Yadachi has to come out at this point. Holy crap, we're at 365 people watching already. You guys are crazy today. What is going on? What is going on? You guys are trying to break me at this point. I wish I had the luck that all these fucking guys that go out broadside on, angled slightly in front of 16-inch guns have. Because, for God's sakes, every time I do it, I die. Hell, I, I die every time I'm over-angled against 16-inch guns, let alone fully broadside. But, you know, that's just how the game works. It's just how the game works. You gotta reward the guys that have no fucking idea what the hell they're doing. And fuck the guys that actually know what they're doing. Or maybe I'm just dumb. That could be a thing, too. I, I could just be dumb. I'm doing it wrong. I'm bow tanking. I'm using the armor that I have rather than trying to just trust RNG to save my fucking life. But, you know, what do I know? <laughs> but, uh, clearly... Clearly my battleships are just too powerful. They shoot their 16-inch shells straight through the enemy ship doing no damage whatsoever while the enemy is allowed to torp me into oblivion from point blank. Because that's how that works. Alright, so we are in the Yudachi. Totally balanced destroyer, Japanese, that's completely invisible, has all the fire rate, all the torps. I'm sure we'll have a crappy game, so uh, that'll prove to everybody just how balanced this ship is. Kind of like when I'm in the Jean Bart and I go out and I immediately get focused by the entire enemy team and die doing 60,000 damage and everybody's like, see, it's not overpowered. <laughs> sure. I'm just bad. Everybody knows it. My 60% 60, 60 win rate means nothing. I just get lucky and get good teammates all the time. 60% of the time I get good teammates according to uh, my stats, because I'm bad. Alright, so, we've got multiple battleships out there. We've got short-range torpedoes, because Yudachi. We use Screamer torpedoes, so we've got to be careful. Uh, we are contested, so let's just go ahead and throw those out right in that area somewhere. We're just going to come to a stop right here give ourselves an out, but uh, maintain our ability to potentially spot if the guy decides to come out. His smoke screen is opening up right in front of where I launched my torpedoes, so that's a good thing. Are we going to kill him? Now, the one thing I will say about the Yadachi is that even its narrow spread is incredibly wide at range. But unfortunately... We don't manage to take him out. We do have a Yadachi spotted off the right side. Our battleship wants to die for some reason. Just in case. All right, let's set this fire. Oh, we're not in our smoke screen, you big dummy. You big dummy.
Yes, shoot your armor piercing at me, Benson. That is definitely how you will get the most damage out of this engagement. Which is why I'm doing so much damage to you in return and you are doing next to nothing to me. Bye. Alright, now we need to take these. Turn the damn ship. God, I hate that. It's one thing I wish they would fix. If I fucking turn my ship and then try to use those chat wheel, it shouldn't stop me from turning. It should allow, allow me to keep turning if I'm still pressing a fucking stick. Now all of our destroyers are in one spot, which is not what you want. But we'll capture this base really quickly. And then I'm going to head straight over to A and capture it as well. So... That Helena is going to murder us. I can't believe he fumbled that so hard. That Helena should have literally just nuked us into oblivion. But I'll take it. And we've lost all of our destroyers. Oh, disappear. Alright, we just need to gain as much distance from this guy as possible. We can't fight him up close and personal, because he will murder us. We use the only thing that we have at our disposal, which is concealment. The only advantage we got. We know he already popped his sonar. We know his sonar is uh, only, oh god, yeah, we're fine. 
That's actually pretty smart. He almost got me. That was a good play by him. We've got the points lead. Him taking that cap is inconsequential. So, uh, I'll let him have it. I'm going to try to take this Bismarck. Four and a half minutes left. I just got to not do anything stupid. Stay as far away from that destroyer or that cruiser as possible. Hope my torpedoes fly true. It looks like they're going to be pretty good. Come on, torpedoes. No, he manages to miss them. He made just enough of a movement to avoid those torpedoes before they were ever in a position to actually do any damage to him. Anybody ever say just how good the Baltimore is? These guys are going to mop this guy up, so no need for me to get involved in that. Is he going to turn all the way back around and cause me to have to shoot him? I was going to say, I really don't want to, but I'm willing to. All right, so here we're going to take a chance. We're going to sail directly at this Charles Martel, see if we can't get into him and torp him before uh, he's able to kill us. That's the goal. And, of course, it's almost like he knows that it's going to happen because I he immediately starts turning away from me. Which is interesting. Hello. Four shatters off of a cruiser. Two shatters off of a cruiser. Nice. All right, we win. Right. What do we end up with? Top of the leaderboard, just under 3,000 base XP, so not bad. 93,000 damage done, two kills. We got Devastating Strike in there on the Colorado. Wasn't the most exciting match, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Oh my God, chat's going crazy. Uh, thank you to Timber McPherson for becoming a new member to the channel. Welcome to the Spartiates. Also to Locutus. Thank you as well. Same thing. I am also a Star Trek Next Generation fan, so I appreciate the name. So, uh, yeah, what you guys got for me now? So far, it's been a pretty decent stream. We've got Arkansas. I don't think I have Arkansas. Maybe I do. I don't know. I think I've got Texas. I've got uh, Arizona, so maybe we'll go Arizona. I don't have Arkansas. I know I've got Texas. I know I've got Arizona. I think those are the only two premium battleships other than the... Uh, 
other than my normal Alabama. I was trying to think of the name of it. I was like, what is the name of the battleship that I play? Uh, 408. This is the first time we've ever broken 400. Oh my God. You guys are killing it. What is wrong with you guys today? <laughs> it's just like everybody had Wednesday off today. Good God. You guys are ridiculous. I'm not even that salty this week. Maybe that's the key. Maybe I need to just not be so salty. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous this week. Good Lord. Welcome to everybody who hasn't had a chance to show up to a stream before. Welcome to the salt ration. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. I really do hope you guys enjoy. I know my quality of stream isn't the greatest because of the whole internet situation. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. But I do appreciate everybody dropping by. I know I don't get to read the chat very often, but I do look at it in between games. I just, it's on my cell phone, so in order to read chat, I have to look down, and if I'm looking down, I can't see the, the TV, so, uh, sorry. <laughs> Holy crap, somebody brought a Tier 3 into a Tier 5 match. That's gonna go horribly wrong for him. And it's a Karlsruhe. Good luck. They have a Matsuki and a Farragut. Been a while since I played the Arizona. Since uh, tier 5 rank battles. It's a very good ship. It's very good. It's basically a New Mexico, except it's got 45 caliber guns instead of 50 caliber guns. And the slower rounds mean you get more citadels rather than over penetrations. So uh, it's kind of like the early Alabama in that sense. Kind of like the Alabama to the Iowa. Hello, Britannia! Go ahead and shoot at him. Oh, he decided he wanted to start moving now. But he did get touched. His magical French armor decided to uh, protect him for the most part. And he's firing high explosive because of course he would be. And he's a terrible shot. But he gets a fire on one shell hitting me because of course he would. The ship is on fire. That's how that works. I'm consistently detected. There was somebody firing from straight over to the left, but he was outside of his, his actual firing range, so he couldn't be detected while he was firing his guns. So, we know there's a destroyer out there. We know one of them is over here. Judging by the volume of fire, I'd say that the Farragut is out on my left. And the Matsuki just captured me. Which is bad news for the Congo. We got an assisted capture. Okay, so we've got an Iron Duke coming out the right side of this and the uh, Britannia coming out the left side. But it looks like the Britannia is starting to rethink his strategy for life. I've still got to watch for that darn Farragut. It's going to be a problem for me if I'm not careful. Oh, hello. All days. <laughs> Ooh. Oof, Iron Duke, you just got touched, brother. That's what that looks like when you touch somebody. And those weren't even citadels. That was just a massive amount of penetrations. Remember, we've got 12 guns pointed at the side of his ship. Still worried about the... Uh, Dude, set another fire. The ship is on fire. You can hit him. Still got to worry about the Farragut. I don't know where the Farragut's at. But I do know that he's going to be a problem for me in a moment. Unlike this Britannia who's spamming high explosive, who may be setting fires, but he's not actually being all that effective. Loaded. Hello. All days. Armor piercing. Learn to use it there, Britannia. <laughs> it is a good thing. <laughs> it 
as he loses half of his hit points. And the Farragut managed to wind up right in front of our Omaha, which is a very bad day for a Farragut. Of course, if the Omaha goes broadside, he could have a bad day too, because that Farragut could easily armor-piercing Citadel him to death very quickly. Darn it. He lives for now. New Mexico gets away with shooting at me. Iron Duke, you've lived long enough. It's time to go back to port there, bud. Hold these. Oh, of course. Don't, don't finish him. Why would you want to finish him? And, uh, Farragut is still alive, and we lost our Omaha. I don't understand it either. <laughs> All right. We've got New Mexico versus Arizona. He's angled slightly, but not very well. But manages to get away with it. And then, of course, we get away with it, because, I mean, with that, that kind of setup, he's not going to get much of anything. Now, we've got to be careful, because the Britannia's still alive. We can't really do anything with him at the moment. Uh, we're going to target the Matsu... Never mind. Matsuki is now... Oh. Come on. Arizona, I need all of your accuracy. <laughs> I hit him with the first salvo and then missed with everything else. We're going to go ahead and angle against this French battleship behind us. Try to get rid of this freaking Iron Duke. Didn't finish him off. Didn't even do much in the way of damage, unfortunately. Their Matsuki's still alive. Their Farragut is still alive. The guy behind me is still alive, and they're... And we just lost our furry taco. This is not where I want to be right now. He's all alone with everybody bearing down on me. Especially destroyers. Luckily, Iron Duke has not discovered that he can fire armor piercing yet either. So that's good. This guy literally just citadeled me through the back of my ship. And we just bounced everything off of a fucking Iron Duke. Wow, dude. This Iron Duke is getting the luckiest shit on the planet right now. The ship is on fire. Well, we're not long for this world right now. So I think in, on our way out, we're at least going to try and citadel the piss out of this New Mexico. Yeah, 
And of course, he citadels us, but we don't citadel him. I just, I love it. Well, only so much we can do when we're the only person on our team doing any damage. 70,000 damage, not the most damage in the world, but again, like if I'm fighting everybody, how is it that the rest of the team is the ones that die first? Like, I get this New Mexico spawn on the other side. They took A. They're on their way through. They're capturing B. Uh, we've got the points lead, so hopefully we can maintain the points lead. Uh, but I just, I'll never understand it. Everybody else on my team was completely useless on that side of the map. The destroyers did nothing. The cruisers did nothing. Uh, actually, the, the furry taco managed to kill the, uh, the Britannia, which didn't have any health left. But... The Farragut still lived, even though there was an Omaha and a Furry Taco there. We just lost our Ohotnik to a fucking Matsuki. I, how does that happen? <laughs> like, seriously. How do you lose an Ohotnik to a Matsuki? And now we've got two battleships versus a Matsuki who is close range. Not preferable. Now the Matsuki doesn't have a lot of health, we know that because we touched him personally. So, uh, place your bets on how this goes. Now, we have the points lead. We have more caps. So, as long as these guys aren't completely stupid, we win. But they have to get rid of that freaking Mitsuki. Because if they don't, that Mitsuki is going to murder them. And he is detected. Get rid of him! Kill the Mitsuki! Rear guns! Fire the rear guns! Oh, he beached himself! He beached himself! Fire the rear guns for God's sakes! Nice! Very nice. And they dodged the torpedoes. Did the guy behind him dodge? Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. We've got the victory camo on this New Mexico. We've got the American flag, the red and white and blue on the other New Mexico. And this match had a lot of New Mexicos in it, didn't it? <laughs> Can't believe we bounced so many rounds off of the, the Iron Duke. Now, I know he was angling in as we fired the shot, but I thought I was aiming high enough up that I could penetrate with the uh, 50 caliber guns of the New Mexico. Apparently, I was wrong, which is why I started shooting at the superstructure, but we were still bouncing. So we were just getting really unlucky with the bounces on the Iron Duke. But again, the Farragut isn't an issue. The New Mexico took a lot of damage. The Iron Duke took a lot of damage. So unless these guys completely screw the pooch, we win this match. Uh, down to 376 people currently watching. We got Dylora Kid in here, Miss Kim in here. You wanna, you want me to play the Lightning next? I'll play the Lightning. I don't have a problem playing the Lightning. As soon as we figure out how these guys are going to uh, do to finish this match, they are capturing the base behind these guys, so the Farragut is in the base. And the New Mexico is now out in front of them, broadside on. That's not going to end well for him. Also, couldn't believe that I actually didn't Citadel the New Mexico when I had him broadside right there. I mean, that was pretty impressive that I didn't citadel him. Shooting into the superstructure. Good hits. Now, angle your armor so that you don't get citadel back. Angle your armor. For frog snacks, angle your armor. Okay, he got lucky. Overpins through the nose. Overpins high. Guns should be about loaded. Secondaries are going off. And this should be the end of the New Mexico. Fire the guns. There you go. And he fired them straight into the bow of the ship instead of up into the superstructure. Oh, God. And by now, the Fletcher's probably coming up to torp these guys. Yep, there's the Fletcher. Or the Farragut, sorry. <laughs> Fletcher. At tier 5, the Fletcher would just absolutely wreck everything. But 
This is going to hurt the New Mexico because he's going to take a ram if he doesn't kill him in the next salvo. He took some torpedoes in the tail shaft. Secondaries are working him over. He's got him on fire and he's going to burn to death and he avoided the ram. Oh, I spoke too soon. All right, there we go, we slipped past him. Rear gun should be able to, oh my God, man. Come on, New Mexico, you were full health. We still win, we still win on points. Still win on points though. <laughs> Um, Nick Arcady, thank you uh, for the $5 donation. Spartan, you are a very elusive player to get into a match with. You know, that sounds like a thing, but it really isn't, because I get matched up against... We had no hot Nick, literally do zero. And we still won. Wow. So wait, how did he get zero if he had three kills? Am I seeing that wrong? He had two devastating strikes, got zero XP. I'm confuzzled. That's odd. Maybe he quit the match before he died? Or like got disconnected? I don't know. I don't know how that works. All right, lightning it is. Let's jump in the old lightning. rage quit I don't know man I, I find it hard to believe somebody with three kills would would rage quit uh, and the fact that he had three kills in the Ohotnik with two devastating strikes is actually pretty impressive like, that's no joke I don't know what he he went up against it wasn't the destroyers so somebody had a bad day My nose is running like crazy for no reason. Lots of cruisers because I'm in a destroyer. They got a Ragnarok, a Bismarck, a Tirpitz, and an Iowa. This should be fun. Show them what we've got, Chop. Show them what we've got, Chop. I swear, sometimes the British commander voiceover sounds like uh, J or Jeremy Clarkson from Top Gear. But, like, echoey. <laughs> like, they didn't do a very good job recording his voice. Or they just put too much uh, reverb on it. So, it just his voice sounds odd, but it does sound like Jeremy Clarkson. Alright, so there's a Fletcher against us. Uh, we don't want to get in a gunfight with that. There's a Bajani, Fiji, an Indianapolis, a Baltimore. So, we can't get in a fight with any of those. <laughs> Uh, Ragnarok, Bismarck, Turpitz, and Iowa are kind of what we're hoping to get in a fight with. Anything else, and we're going to have a bad day. And of course, our battleship that spawned on this side is running away. So we got two Turpitzes? Or that's the same Turpitz? All right, Turpitz and a Bismarck. All right, now these guys should light up like Christmas trees.
Now that's peculiar. When I fire the torpedoes, he was turning hard to freaking port. And then as soon as I fire my torpedoes, he immediately turns hard to star or hard back to starboard to go completely straight again. Now I am not one smoke screen set for like conspiracy theories, but it does seem like sometimes that people just have the perfect thing picked for the moment that can absolutely ruin me. Okay, so we've got a destroyer here. And once again, this Turpitz manages to avoid my shot, or my uh, torpedoes. How is he knowing that torpedoes are on the way? Is he the greatest player that's ever played, or is something, something very bad going on? Elena doesn't get torpedoes, so he can't be expecting torpedoes from him. I'm detected, even though I'm at five kilometers. And something weird's going on in this match. Something very, very peculiar is going on in this match. So we've got Bismarck still down here. We have literally done nothing this match. But that's what happens when somebody anticipates every move that you make in your destroyer because like they are the literal greatest player I've ever seen in my life. But I know how much of a delay there is in the in the the stream, so it's not like he's stream sniping, he just had to have guessed perfectly what I was doing. Am I that predictable? Apparently. Now we haven't seen their destroyer. Sink faster, Turpets. You're gonna block my freaking torpedo. We'll see if this guy is better or uh, as smart as the last guy. Kinda hoping not. Okay, there's the Fletcher. We finally found him. The delay? 
All right, so we know that uh, he's already used his damage gun. So we just need to set a fire. We're inside six kilometers, so his hydro should still be able to hit me. Or should be able to spot me, so he's already run out his hydro. God, these shells just don't arc at all. Colorado steals kill. I owe you one. Yeah, I bet you do. Uh, oh, it's gee, been a boring match. See, that's where I say that it's Jer Jeremy Clarkson. The our team has taken the lead. Just sounds like Jeremy Clarkson. All right, so there's a Fiji out here who just got touched. He's the last man alive, and we are nowhere near able to. Uh, do anything to him. And who's closest to him? I can't even see the guy that's closest to him. I'm sure he'll be dead before we get there. I mean, it is a Fiji. And there's a battleship close by. And it's a Rishilu. That Rishilu's gonna murder his face. I mean, surely not, but could we, though? I mean, it's next to impossible, but it isn't impossible. Screw it. Fire the guns. I mean, if he's going to come to us, we might as well take advantage of it, right? Of course. We almost managed to get a little damage. <laughs> what a game, guys. It's sometimes, like, you just can't do anything. Like, it's literally everybody makes the perfect move. I get two torpedo hits, and the rest is all guns. We end up with 50,000 damage. But we won. The fun one. Spent the entire game going in circles. <laughs> All right, what do we got? What's up, Zarkoon? Uh-oh, Badger was here and donated $10. Thanks, Badger, appreciate you. Uh, trying to find your, oh, there it is, went past it. Keep up the good work, brother. You too, man, and stay safe out there. I know you're uh, dealing with me. Ugh. We got Party Bus and Nelson, Vanguard, Nelson, Nelson. Oh, God, you guys are trying to kill me today. All right, I'll jump into Nelson next. First Vladdy and then Nelson. Two brothers. This could be fun. Should we do the thing? Only one destroyer. It's a moss. Guys! Channel your inner flambass. We're going in. I'm going to do something incredibly dumb. It's probably not going to go in my favor. But if it does, it'll be amazing.
Hopefully nobody joins us. And hopefully this cruiser that spawned to my right gets moving. I will push through him. Problem with going through the middle in Legends is just that you spawn in such a weird location. So you can't really do it. You have to go broadside for so long. And you're spotted the whole time because, you know, of course the enemy uh, destroyer's out on this side. Actually, it could be the York. Hello, York. There's a Nelson. Oh, hello. A good hit on the York. I changed my mind. There's too many nice targets out here to uh, go up the middle. We're just going to push straight ahead. I was going to go up the middle, but it just takes so long to get there. By the time that I get there, I've just wasted half the match. I'm trying to get to a spot where I can shoot the Nelson now. I can't tell if he's going in reverse or not. Thank you. He does appear to be going in reverse. And we just missed him? How did we miss him? Fucking HE spamming garbage. They've got one damn destroyer out there, and of course he's just able to sit out there and fuck me up. Finally, the team's moving up a little bit. Our cruisers need to get out there and try to find the damn destroyer. Because if they don't, we're going to have a very bad day. Alright. One, one fire spamming piece of garbage down. Try to break the guns. There's that amazing dispersion. What are you doing, Helena? Are you trying to die? So I'll oblige you. Look at the dispersion when you shoot it as Jean Bart too. That's the other thing. Like, not only do you get screwed as far as just being able to do damage to him, but you also get nothing in the way of dispersion. You get the world's worst freaking dispersion every time you shoot at them. Команда получила. 
получила преимущество. I was actually coming back to assist this guy, so I've got to be careful here. Look at that dispersion. It's just like, no, sorry, it's a Jean Bart. You're shooting at a Jean Bart. We're not allowing you to actually do nasty hits to him. Now, he did just use his damage con, so next fire that we get, he's going to burn for a while. That's fucking ridiculous. I am in a dispersion build battleship, and I can't hit a guy at 13 kilometers. Because it's just like, sorry, it's a Jean Bart. <laughs> My magical French armor says I'm not even allowed to be touched, let alone damaged. And the reason I'm trying to set him on fire is the, uh, the fire on this, or the HE on this, is really good. So I'm trying to set him on fire, but I'm not getting any fires. I, I set him on fire the first time and ain't got shit since. Now we've got torpedoes coming in because why wouldn't we? Of course that guy disappears the moment I get ready to shoot him. Our hipper just threw his life away. cruiser on the right side would push up I'd much appreciate it I can deal with a Jean Bart I can't deal with a Jean Bart and a Moss because I can't see the Moss he can launch his torps from further than I can see so I can't fight him so I'm going to try to use the island to keep me safe from him while still being able to shoot at the Jean Bart that's the goal I love that this guy is literally right on top of me. We're going to pre-rotate the guns. And he just took every fucking round from point blank. 16 inch guns, point blank. Did not kill him. High explosive 16 inch guns took them all right in the fucking mouth, didn't kill him. And this is the problem with destroyers. Like you literally can't fucking protect yourself from them. I beached myself because I know he was waiting for me to come out the other side of the fucking island, but then he just comes around the backside. My team can't fucking shoot him because why would they shoot him? 
I mean, they're literally right there. He's spotted. Why would they ever fucking shoot him? Look, we have an Amagi that went through the center of the map. He's been useful this entire game, right? There's a Boise right there. Why is he not killing the fucking destroyer? Fuck the chop I am. Like, you're literally... This guy's trying to set a fucking Jean Bart on fire instead of going after the destroyer who is going to fuck up his battleships. But that's why I don't go up the middle because it takes so fucking long to get through the middle on this on uh, Legends that it's not worth the time. Uh, you just fuck your team by doing it. Like on PC, you spawn right in front of the fucking middle so you can just sail straight ahead and you can go through it pretty quickly. Or at least get into a position where you're being detected and shot at so that everybody focuses you so that your team can push up. But in Legends, you spawn so far away from the center that you can't actually utilize going through the center. It's more of a, uh, hey, I've won my side. I'm going to try to cut over and help the team or, or something along those lines. It just doesn't work out on console. Now, if you're in a fast ship, like a uh, fast cruiser or a fast des destroyer, you could possibly make it happen. But the problem with doing it in a fast ship is that you get there and uh, get yourself into a lot of trouble. But our Amagi is about to eat a whole mess of torpedoes. So uh, he's done a lot to help the team. We're winning on points, but these guys are destined to throw this away. There's two torpedo hits. Uh, Jean Bart should go down here. He's burning. But still, I don't know why our hipper decided to go broadside on in front of a Jean Bart. Um, I, honestly, I, I don't know why they do half the stuff that they do, to be honest. But whatever. We're capturing the base. Amagi is a sitting duck for the destroyer. Meanwhile, our Boise is sitting out in the open turned as far away from the destroyer as possible. Not sure why. So, that's a thing. Amagi's best bet is to do what he's doing, which is turn away from the where he knows the destroyer is and just sail away. Uh, we're going to win on points. He's obviously trying to torp you, so he's not going to cap. So... You can try to stay in the cap, but definitely sail away because you know that the uh, the Moss doesn't have super long-range torpedoes. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing. I, I, I agree with you on that Zarkoon going up the middle and the Destroyer is not the greatest because you lose, the you, look, you lose your spotting, that sort of thing, for your team. Um... But if you're going to go up middle on console, that's pretty much the only thing you can really do it in feasibly because, like I said, with any battleship, the time it takes you to get to the center and then get to a point where you can start engaging the enemy, you fucked your team pretty much for the entire match. Um, destroyers, you're fucking your team by not giving them spotting. Uh, but you, it's such a small map that you can spot for yourself without a destroyer. The only issue is other destroyers. Um, but you can see... He's, he's launching torpedoes at the Amagi. Amagi's able to, to uh, av avoid them from a long ways away because Boise's over here running his sonar, I'm assuming. But he's, he's in the cap. Like, these guys should easily be able to hunt him down. This Boise should have no trouble hunting down this fucking uh, German destroyer. Like, he's got every weapon at his disposal to hunt down this destroyer and murder his face. He knows he's in the cap. He knows the direction that the, the freaking torpedoes just came from. So why is he sailing further away from where the torpedoes just came from? He's sailing directly towards the last known of the enemy destroyer. But we've got the Akatsuki going the other direction, so... It doesn't matter. 14 seconds and the game's over. We win, regardless. And there he is. Who the fuck it? Is he going to eat a torp? Nope. All right.
right, uh, Cheese Man. Appreciate the five dollar donation. Uh, is that Australian dollars? A dollar. Finished third on the team. We did all right. We pushed up the left side, which took a lot of pressure off the right side, so they were able to push through and win their side pretty easily. But uh, yeah, that Moss was kind of like their their best player. But they also had the Jean Bart. They just, I mean, if everybody's going to keep feeding themselves to him, we might as well kill him. I mean, everybody that was with me was an absolute jackass, so they just got obliterated. That's what I, I don't understand. Like, you know there's a Jean Bart out there. Why are you all going broadside on in front of him? Like, the hipper. You've got armor. He's got 15-inch guns. He's not able to do that much to you from the front. So why are you going broadside to launch your torpedoes from maximum range instead of just bow tanking him, getting close, and, and torping him? Like, that, that didn't make a whole lot of sense. All right, what do we have next? Oh, somebody asked for the Nelson earlier, and we didn't play it, so I better get back into that. Nelson. Do we want to go with uh, Nelson the way I play it, or Nelson... Oh, no, 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 no. I am not using a garbage freaking Azure Lane Commander for this. That is not what we want. <laughs> I need to change that. I hated that build. Andrew Cunningham. The reason I don't like the Azure Lane Commander is because it seems like I can't hit anything with the damn Nelson. So, like, if you look, yes, you can potentially get an extra extra heal out of it. Potentially two extra heals, which is amazing. But I don't have her leveled up very far. And, uh, I just, I don't like the loss of being able to... You know what? Fuck it. See, that's rudder shift and, uh... Yeah, we lose a repair party if we do that. That's dumb. We could almost get get her to 16. We're three insignia short. So, all right, we'll do it. We'll, we'll do Firestarter Nelson and just say fuck it. If we're going to play it, we might as well play it. Uh, Tiger Tank Ace, thank you to becoming a brand new member to the channel. Welcome to the Sparshutes. Appreciate you. Yeah, Shard Horse is a pretty good ship. I like it. Uh, it's got long-range guns, so you can use it at distance. You can use it up close. The secondaries are pretty nasty for the tier. Um, it's got torpedoes, obviously. And honestly, it's got the best armor in the game when it comes down to it. Like, that thing is stupidly powerful armor. Stupidly powerful armor. Easily the most powerful armor on a German ship. But uh, definitely the most effective armor out of all of the German battleships. All right, so we are going to go ahead and load high explosive right off the bat. We are on north. We spawn center. They have two Yudachis, a Dasashio, and a Fletcher. So three Japanese destroyers that are invisible and have reload boosters and smoke. <laughs> and a Fletcher, for good measure. What could go wrong? Show them what we've got, chaps. Now we're going to push over to the left side. Um... Center doesn't work out for me in this map. Not in a battleship. In a, in a destroyer, I'll go through center. But not in a battleship. Especially the Nelson. Because every time somebody shoots at me in the Nelson, I get citadel. Whether through the deck armor or through the side, it doesn't matter. Try to angle, it doesn't matter. Just citadel city in this thing. But, we'll see. They do have a Vladdy, they have a Gneisenawa, they've got a John Bart, a Richelieu, and an Iowa. Great. Dash it all. Speaking of John Bart. He doesn't have 16 inch guns, so I'm not too scared of his guns. Get back. And he's very susceptible to HE, so I might just. He just used his damage con already, too. That's deadly against the the freaking Nelson. Like, the Nelson can set you on fire so badly. We don't have the fastest fire rate in the world, but the amount of fires that you can set per salvo in this thing. 
course, we're going to miss every shot. Come on, don't smoke up, Benson. You got a fucking gunboat, man! That was a good salvo. Not getting any uh, fires, though. Of course, Jean Bart disappears because our fucking Benson is so worried about being in smoke. Two fires set that time. That's what I'm saying. The multiple fires are the killer in this thing. Go straight at him, Benson. Why is the Benson turning into the fucking torps? Come on, find him, Benson. Oh, crap. Turn the ship. How does he miss the damn Nell or the Jean Bart from that close with torpedoes? I guess he got him with a couple. Be the end of him. The enemy team has taken the lead. Problem is the Vladdy and the fucking Iowa can both citadel me through the front of my ship. 16 inch guns in the Nelson don't get along. All right. This would be a good time to have armor piercing loaded, but we don't, so it's a thing. Nelson is one of the only battleships that I'm willing to chase down a Yudachi with, just due to the fact that it's so hard to kill. But our team is dying around us. We're doing everything that we can. Looks like our team won the other side, so we just gotta protect this, this flank. I think a couple of those may have gotten through. So we're gonna shield ourselves from the 16 inch guns that are being shot at us. We've got Yudachi here who has just sealed his own fate. He 
You may not know it yet, but he's a dead man. Anybody else want to test the fucking HE on the Nelson in a destroyer? <laughs> Anybody? Any volunteers? I can think of at least one more behind me that's probably volunteering. We're not going to get too far away from this base because we're going to protect it. Please don't ram him. Got another fire. Oh my god, we bounced rounds! Oh Jesus. Fucking damn it. Fire. This is gonna hurt a lot. Yep. There's nothing I could do about that. I was fucking tunnel vision so hard. So tunnel vision. But that's what happens when you have four destroyers on your team and none of them do a fucking thing. The enemy destroyers just feed off of you. You do everything you can to try to win the match. And then everybody around you is just completely useless. Because that's how that works. Boggy sailing broadside to fucking Vladdy. Friendly Jean Bart getting torped. By a Yadachi. You gotta love it. 117,000 damage. We did our part. 11 fires started. Can't ask for much more out of us. Considering we were spamming high explosive the whole time, you can't really ask for too much. But honestly, we had no help. Like the team was just completely useless. Completely useless from the fucking uh, Benson that decided to just sit right in front of a fucking Jean Bart to uh, everybody else that literally did nothing. I don't know what to say. Like they're just bad. There's nothing else I can do about it. I'm burning everybody down. I'm setting them all on fire. I'm getting devastating strikes on destroyers with HE. Which is honestly what should happen to a fucking destroyer when a battleship with 16-inch guns fires high explosive at them. That should be a death. Like, I understand if they survive the armor piercing, even though I think that's bullshit too. Because those 16-inch shells would literally rip the fucking ship in half. But, you know, I can understand from a game standpoint you want people to use a certain shell type versus a destroyer. But if I'm shooting the largest fucking guns in the game at a destroyer, who's broadside on to fucking high explosive, he should die. That's how that works. Just like if a fucking cruiser goes broadside on in front of a battleship and the, sh the battleship shoots straight through his fucking ship. Like, come on. There's a reason that fucking 16 inch guns were so devastating. Like they just fucking killed everything that was in front of them. And then you, you think about the Yamato, it's gonna have 18 inch guns. And they're 45 caliber, so they're not very fast rounds. So they get nasty fucking damage when they hit because they don't overpin like you do on everything else. All right, what do you guys got? Now that I'm done ramp ranting. King George V, oh no. Oh no, Vanguard, no. Look, we just played a British battleship. <laughs> we just played a British battleship. Uh, let's go Baltimore. Let's go Baltimore. We haven't played to Baltimore yet. 
We I know we played the Wichita, but the Baltimore is better. From a uh, just being able to punch people in the mouth standpoint, it's better. Which is Wichita is definitely better at the uh, burning people down, but. Bismarck? No, I already played to Bismarck. That'll never happen again. You guys you guys asked for it earlier. I did it. Uh, we had an amazing game where we uh, took three Japanese torpedoes. We managed to uh, knock out the torpedo tubes of a Gneisenauer. And that was the highlight of our game. 30,000 damage. Oh, absolutely fantastic. All right, so we got an Akatsuki, a Mouse, and a Yudachi. There is a Gneisenawa, a Hood, a Kuda... There is nothing that can overmatch our armor in this match. Other than torpedoes, obviously. So don't don't get hit with a torpedo. But nothing else can overmatch our armor. Which means this could have a lot of good... This could be a fun one. Action stations. Look at this. The fucking destroyer that spawns right next to me is running away. Why? What is wrong with staying where you fucking spawn and do your job? Yadachi, instead of running away, why don't you just stay on your side, spot for your team, and potentially do something to help? Why do you have to run from your side of the map? That makes no fucking sense. Ugh. I don't understand it. I don't under fucking stand it at all. There's no fucking, no idea what the guy is doing. All of our destroyers are headed to the same fucking side of the map. What's the point? What do you hope to accomplish? Now we've got an Indianapolis here that's gonna get himself into a, a lot of trouble. We're hidden. I don't think we've been detected. So he's going to sail right out in front of us. Who's behind him? Baltimore, so we don't have to worry about torpedoes. We're just going to uh, post up and wait for him to sail out in front of us. Of course, I say that, and he decides to suddenly lock up his brakes and not want to sail around the corner. That's fine. The Baltimore is the bigger threat of the two, so if I can catch the Baltimore broadside and do, do serious damage to him first, that'll be preferable. Trying to break his guns, but I'm also shooting up into a superstructure because clearly we can't do damage if we shoot down into his bow. to stern tank the guy behind us. Switch back to armor piercing. We've got the Indianapolis here. We also have the hood out in front of us, so we got to be careful with that. Now wait.
Why is it that everybody has to run away from me? Indianapolis, you've made mistakes in your life, brother. If you think this is a good way to fucking fight, you're an absolute jackass. But, he gets the fucking kill because the battleship behind me is doing damage to me while my team all fucking cowers in the corner. And this is why I have to keep myself muted, because all of these fucking jackasses on my team want to go over here and circle jerk each other in the corner of the fucking map. Meanwhile, I'm over here actually trying to fucking win the match. I get no support whatsoever from anybody on my fucking team. Everybody runs away. I have a fucking battleship, a fucking destroyer. Both run the fuck away from me. There's a Gneisenauer right here, who is also not doing any fucking thing to help me. He just fucking sails off into the fucking island, protects himself from nothing. Like, there's no fucking torpedo threat there. None! Indianapolis doesn't have fucking torpedoes. Baltimore does not have fucking torpedoes. Hood does not have torpedoes. So why is everybody so fucking afraid to get involved in the fucking match? Explain that to me. You're in a fucking German battleship that has armor, has torpedoes, and you're afraid of a couple fucking cruisers? That don't even have torpedoes? And now you're just gonna sit broadside to it? But at least he tried to help us, guys. He, he definitely didn't fucking leave this side completely to, to nothing. Of course, this guy's gonna take three fucking torpedoes, maybe four. Uh, just two. He almost took three. Now he's gonna flood to death because all of these jackasses that are all fucking sailing in circles over here are doing literally nothing to fucking help the team. The fucking destroyer just sitting there not doing anything. The fucking cruiser just sitting there not doing anything. He's a fucking light cruiser. His job is to kill destroyers. Like, why is he not fucking engaging the destroyer that was right in front of his face? Why is it that the destroyer was able to get that close, torp the fuck out of our battleships that are behind him? And now he's about to sail out in front of a fucking cruiser, and there goes all of his fucking hit points. He's broadside on to a fucking Kutuzov at five kilometers that's been spotted the entire time. There goes the rest of his hit points. And he's firing HE at the cruiser. And there goes the rest. Well done. Well done. What a team. So glad that I had all these guys on my team. It's so useful. So useful when you get a team that just absolutely refuses to do anything. Like, if I had any help whatsoever, I'd have, I would have won that side. Honestly, I would have killed both of the cruisers pretty easily if it wasn't for the fact that I lost half my health to the fucking battleship. Because, you know, he's got short fuse high explosive and I was broadside on to him when he come around the island. But, again, that it's the fucking battleship. Like, I can't do anything about it. I have to fight the fucking cruisers who have rapid fire guns. So I got to stern tank them as I go by them. Had to get rid of the destroyer. I got rid of the fucking destroyer, which was my job. I look back. I'm fighting everybody, and nobody's around me because everybody's a fucking coward that wants to hide in a corner and circle jerk one another. What an amazing team. And then this Yudachi is getting himself killed. What, a, what an absolute unit of a team. The two battleships are chasing the destroyer around the corner instead of helping the fucking destroyer at the back get rid of the fucking cruiser. Oh, never mind. They came around the corner on the cruiser, so... This should be the end of the Kutuzov. Should be. Isn't. There's still the Akatsuki or Yudachi or whatever that was close to these guys. No, the Yudachi was in the spawn. So it's a moss. 
They must have killed the Akatsuki already. So yeah, Moss directly ahead of the Leon has no health. They could pull this off. They could, but I don't hold out a whole lot of hope. The battleships need to get rid of that fucking cruiser. That'll free up the Akatsuki to go after the destroyer or go after the hood. So get rid of that fucking Kutuzov. Guys, shoot the Kutuzov, get rid of him, so that our Akatsuki can engage the battleship. And of course, the battleship that was in the back fucking dies to a torpedo that was spotted 10 minutes ago. And now the Leon is sailing away from the destroyer that he just had spotted. Oh, the secondaries! The secondaries coming through in the clutch. Like I said, they can do this. They desperately need to get rid of these cruisers. The destroyer should have no trouble getting rid of the battleship. I say that, but I mean, he hasn't really proven anything at this point. Got good hits on there. Now this guy is going to burn and sink. And that just leaves the Akatsuki. The enemy team has taken the lead. To take on two, two rapid fire cruisers and a uh, battleship with 1600 hit points. Indianapolis is spamming armor-piercing at a destroyer. And down goes the hood. Or down goes the hood. Down goes the Akatsuki. Gotta love it. Ah, imagine that. Top of the leaderboard. Who'd have thunk it? All of our destroyers, absolutely useless, including the guy that did sail away from the fucking spawn. What a useful teammate he was, huh? I don't know, guys. I really don't. I'm going to play one more, and then I'm going to call it a game. Or call it a day. So let's see what you guys want. Anybody? <laughs> Petitioned for somebody to make a, salt, or a song out of my... Oh, my God. Nick Arcady, the pain of World of Warships, really bad teammates 99% of the time. Yeah, it really is rough at times. But uh, appreciate the $5 donation, man. This stream has been crazy for donations. You guys have been killing it today. I'm not going to lie. It's a shame that I haven't played as well as you guys are donating. I think I'm going to play the Iowa one last time and we'll call it a day. So, uh, last one, guys. Last one. Oh, sorry, you guys called Sinop and Monogami. I don't have Monogami yet. But uh, we'll do the Iowa, and then we'll call it a day. We've been streaming for over two hours now. It's been a heck of a stream, considering I, I wasn't really feeling like I was going to stream today. Uh, I'm glad I did. You guys always have a way of cheering me up. Even when I'm raging and crying like a little baby. But all you can do, and that's why, like, it doesn't do me any good to get in chat and talk to people because you do, and they just don't, they don't fucking listen. They don't do anything. They just keep sailing, doing whatever the fuck they want, which is usually nothing. Luckily, there are eight destroyers in this game. Can't you see how excited I am about that? And, of course, it's a fucking domination, which forces us to try to get involved. This guy's muted. Welcome to being able to uh, mute people. 
appreciate you. Glad that the guys on PlayStation voice chat are just as obnoxious as the guys that are in Xbox. The few people that actually have mics use it to fucking play junk ass music in the background. Or listen to a bunch of fucking little babies. Alright, if you got kids, that's fine. If they're screaming like crazy, mute yourself. It's pretty simple. So we've got a Helena, we've got a Yudachi, and they're pushing up on the cat. Now I'll help! I don't have a problem helping. See if we can catch that Iowa right off the bat. All three shatters. Really, game? Is that how that works? Of course, I shoot at him. He starts turning away immediately. Because I'm the only person that matters when people are actually shooting. And he just turn he turns away from me to go broadside on in front of the entire rest of the team. And he's getting away with it. That's the sad part. Really, Miyoko? Is that what you think? Shot out. Wait for it. Japanese. Heavy cruiser broadside to battleship. Bam! What? What is that? Seriously? What is that? <laughs> How is that not a fucking kill? I don't think I've ever not killed a fucking Japanese battleship or a Japanese cruiser who's broadside to me like that. That's in crazy. That's crazy. Like, I knew he was turning, so I went ahead and adjusted for it. And, of course, we miss every single shot. Because that's how that works. We've got a Tirpitz out here, getting ready to go broadside to us. This guy's muted because he can't freaking stop deep throat in the mic. What are you doing, Nelson? I will show you the error of your ways. You think sailing broadside on in front of an Iowa is a good idea? What the f Seriously, what am I shooting? Am I fucking shooting nerf bullets or what? This guy's sailing in reverse in a fucking Nelson and apparently is the fastest fucking Nelson I've ever seen in my life. Well, that's really good dispersion, so this should be really bad for him. And we get one shatter and one fucking penetration. Hello, Miyoko. You're obviously trying to launch torps. We're gonna go ahead and dodge those. The ship is on fire. Hey, look, torps, guys. This guy is the luckiest fucking Miyoko I've ever seen in my life. Now 
my citadel. Enemy cruiser destroyed. So now that that threat's gone, we still have three destroyers out there. Two were last spotted today. We have the Nelson out here somewhere on the left side. Solved, sir. And we had a hipper or a. Uh, This guy doesn't die right now. I'm going to be upset. There it is. Target penetrated. That's better. Now, did he learn his lesson? Has he has he considered the error of his ways? He's obviously starting to go forward. He's still launching his high explosive. And that should be the death of him. And of course he gets two fires. The ship is on fire. He manages to fucking go from full speed reverse to full speed forward to stopped. Fighter airborne. Immediately. Bunch of fucking cowards on the enemy team this match. Why is our cruiser right behind me instead of going for the fucking destroyer that's in B? Absolutely fucking useless. The ship is on fire. Cruisers that don't want to fucking do their job get us fucked over because they can't Fighter fucking kill destroyers. Especially when the Target fucking destroyers have been spotted right fucking next to them. They just sail in circles behind the fucking battleship hoping that nobody ever fucking finds them. And useless. This guy is in a Helena. It is literally a light cruiser. It is absolutely fucking devastating versus destroyers. Two fucking destroyers are spotted right fucking next to him, and they're able to just fucking sit there because he's a fucking jackass that doesn't want to get involved in the fight. He's not shooting his guns at anything. He literally just sits behind me, hoping that nobody ever shoots at him. The enemy is fucking picking us apart, and our destroyers can't fucking do anything. Like... I take three quarters of the health of the fucking destroyer that showed himself. They've still got a Yadachi and an Akatsuki left, and the Helena is running away from the fucking destroyers instead of engaging. So now they can just sit out there and fucking tear the team up. This is this is the shit that pisses me off. Like you can't get any fucking teammates to do their fucking job. That's all I want. I'm not asking you to pull off a fucking miracle. But if you're in a fucking cruiser and you see a destroyer, two of them, within fucking eight kilometers of you, why don't you fucking engage? Why don't you do something for your team? I don't understand it. That, that doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not going out like that. That's so fucking bullshit. Spammed with HE by the fucking Nelson. I get two fucking Citadel. I had the worst RNG on the planet in that game. Couldn't fucking Citadel a Mogami that was sailing broadside to me. Couldn't sell or Citadel a fucking Nelson that was sailing broadside to me. And then I get fucked over because my team just does nothing. They literally do nothing. Trying to protect the cap that I'm in. And I get torped to death because there's nothing I can fucking do. Because my cruiser wants to sit behind me instead of doing his fucking job. 
If you're gonna play a fucking cruiser, at least play it like it's a fucking cruiser. Do your job. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. If you're in a fucking cruiser, do your job. If you see a fucking destroyer, you, you kill the destroyer. Because you're the only one on the fucking planet that has everything at its disposal to do so. We've got six destroyers in this match. Two of them are you. Three of them are Udachis. We got two Bensons. Dispersion buff. Be good to me. Oh my god. It was good. <laughs> it was definitely a good hit. That Nagato just got touched. 30,000 damage. Gone. Shatter two bounces off an island. Oh, he's sailing in reverse. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he sail in reverse? And of course the Nagato disappears. Ooh, hello, son. Go ahead and throw that out there. Being run over by my own battleship. That looks good. Ah, we we aimed a little too far ahead of him. That's a shame. Yeah, I hate to see it. Still want to hit that sin off while he's broadside. A little bit of lag there. Ooh, he got lucky. Those were center of mass, too. is kind of uh, abandoning this flank, so I'm not about to be the only one going this way. All stations requesting fire support. Hello, Baltimore. guns to shoot at him as well. We got Prince Oigen pushing in on us. Still in a position that I could potentially ruin. One hit. 
really came from. Let me guess, he suddenly turned. Was able to dodge those rounds because my rounds travel so damn slow. Nagato. Benson just took a shot, took a torpedo. Prince Oregon. We know that they still have a Benson out there. So we gotta keep that in mind. Baltimore is not really a threat to me from this range. And Prince Oregon. I'm gonna say it has eight kilometer torpedoes though. And of course, the front guns completely missed it somehow. Does that make sense? Assume torpedoes are in route. There they are. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to introduce ourselves to this Baltimore because we have 16 inch guns. And, oh, never mind. Hold that thought. Ah, I don't want to. Don't want to. We'll deal with the Benson in a moment. Hi, Baldy. How's it going? See, I have very good 16 inch guns inside this kind of range. I can't overmatch your armor. You've got nowhere to go, and you're firing high explosive into me because you have no idea what you're doing. Time for you to go back to port, sunshine.
Oh no, guys, it's a Benson. He's got nine kilometers torpedoes. And he's got eight seconds left to live if he lives that long. Which I'm not entirely sure that he will. <laughs> there you go, guys. I think that's a pretty good way to end the stream. So I appreciate everybody dropping by. We got a high, uh, fireproof. We got high caliber. Four kills, one kill short of a crack. And 157,000 damage done. And we end up with 2,759 base XP. That is a good game. I appreciate you guys dropping by. It's been a crazy stream. I really do appreciate you guys. Uh, Trayvon Potts, welcome to the... Uh, newest member of the Spartiates. Welcome to the being a member on the channel. Um, Christopher Bailey, welcome to being a member of the channel to uh, the Spartiates. Appreciate you. Don Miller, everybody gangster until Spartan hops in the Iowa. <laughs> or, or any battleship for that matter. Appreciate the $1.99. And uh, glad you guys got a chance to drop by. It's been a heck of a stream. We've been over 300 almost the entire stream. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. So thank you guys. Appreciate you. And if uh, and as always, I will see you in the next video.